morning. Good morning, friends. Welcome. Come on in. Come on into my channel. Come on into my craft room. Come on into my home and let me share a little bit about what I've been doing today with you. As you can see by my thumbnail and what I've got in front of me, I have made a... Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Sherry, and this is Plan with Black Dog Designs. Got that out of the way. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, maybe doing some relaxing, some something you enjoy, some crafting, uh, gardening if it's nice where you live. A little too cold here to do much gardening, but I've been working on my fly lady weekly home blessing uh this morning i'm not in a big big rush i'm just sort of taking it easy not pushing myself but i thought i would go through with you and sort of just show you my control journal i'm new to the fly lady let me put this out there disclaimer I, this is in no way shape or form is this Am I teaching you how to do it or you how to do it? I'll even link that below in the comments. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm doing and telling you and sharing with you what I've done that's worked for me. I've only been doing this system consistently since about no October, November maybe, and it's still a work in progress, but I can say it's working. I never oh, thought I heard somebody come in the door. Um, I've never <clears throat> been a messy person or had a dirty house. Um, sometimes it was things weren't done that I, I knew needed to get done, but I would procrastinate and put them off. And um, Instead of just taking the couple minutes, set your timer for two minutes or 15 minutes, whatever, and just do a task. Um, if you want to learn about the Fly Lady system, if, if what I show you today it makes you curious or in any way you want to learn more about it, I will link number uh, Marla Silly's um, YouTube channel. She is the Fly Lady. Uh, there's a wonderful lady in Denmark, Diane in Denmark. I've learned a lot from watching her channel. Um, and there's a couple others that I will probably link that I do also watch from time to time. But mainly I'm going to link the Fly Ladies uh, YouTube channel and Diane in Denmark. Because those are the two that I mainly follow along with some other ladies. But... Um, so one of her things is not to get caught up on perfection. And she says sometimes that's why we don't do things because it is our perfectionism. We, we tend to say, well, I'd rather not do it because I'm, I'm probably not going to finish it or I might not do it right. Or, uh, the way what helps me, the way I think about it is, um, I think one of the things the Fly Lady system has helped me with is to not get overwhelmed. And it's taught me, like, for example, we're going into zone four this week, starting today. That's the master bed, master bathroom, and closets. Now, in the past, I might have said, oh my God, I got to clean my closet. I hate cleaning my closet. It's such a chore. It's going to take forever. And I'd pull everything out of my closet and then I'd be overwhelmed and I'd have to put it back because, you know, you're not going to, I'm not going to leave it piled up on my bed. But then I would resent that I just, now I'm tired and I don't want to put it back. Well, she tells you not to do that. Set your timer for 15 minutes. Clean out two or three drawers. Spend 15 minutes decluttering your closet. Uh, 15 minutes going through clothes that you either want to donate or give away or throw away if they're in bad condition. And when that 15 minutes is up, it's up. Walk away. Go do something else. That's not to say you can't go back to it 
later in the day or the next day, but you're not overwhelming yourself by taking everything out of your closet, piling it up, and then being overwhelmed with now what do I do with it? So let me just share with you, this is just, I laminated, this is from, I think it's from The Healthy Hero. Some of their inspiration cards that I laminated quite a long time ago, but I like it on my Fly Lady Control Journal. So this is an old Faith uh, planner that I know it doesn't really match, but that's okay. I, I'm not going for anything like that here. So I just have a pocket in the front. Uh, let me check and make sure you can see what I've got here. Yeah. Okay, so I've just gone in with some of my um, filler paper. This is from Home Body. Um, some lettering from my sticker books, control journal, what's for dinner. I made this, okay, so I made it on November 11th, 2019. So I'd been dabbling with it for probably since October. So November I made this. And I dated it just so I wouldn't forget. And it's just got little cute things, you know, to the market, chores, clean house, check it off. This week, priorities, another little grocery shopping, wipe down knobs and light switches, keep going. Um, little decor, laundry, payday, don't forget about savings, trash day, recycling. Don't forget to plan your meals, all that kind of stuff. So that's just my intro page. Um, probably recognize this from At Home with Kita. If you watch her, I mean, imagine if you're watching me, you are by far already watching her. If not At Home with Kita, this is a PDF I got from her uh, um, Etsy shop, Little Miss Fancy Plans. Um, this is more geared toward home, like monthly pre-planning, but I'm going to be using these sheets in my, all my, in various planners. But anyway, if you recognize that, that's what that is. Just a little dashboard for the routines. So this is the routines that I do every day. They don't take very long, but if you make it a habit of spending a few minutes every day, and, and I'm talking about I'm home during the day. I'm not working outside the home anymore. If you work outside the home, your system is going to be catered to you. I have to do what works in my house. Some people live in humongous mansions. Some people live in a hut. Some people love, live in a yurt. You know, you've got to do what works for you. What works for me isn't going to work for you and vice versa. But my morning routine, I get up, I make my bed as soon as I get out of bed. I usually jump right in the shower, um, do my hair, I usually throw my hair in a ponytail. Um, I don't always put makeup on unless I feel like it or I'm leaving the house, so, you know, but I'm clean. Uh, swish and swipe, this is something I've started doing from the Fly Lady, and let me tell you, this has been a lifesaver. You take whatever kind of cleaner you want. I use Clorox wipes um, and you just wipe your surface, your sink, your vanity, um, your toilet, you know, your toilet seat, spray the rim, you know, use your bowl brush and scrub out your toilet. It takes two minutes. And if you do this every day, your bathroom never gets dirty. I've had my mother-in-law with us. We've had our mother-in-law, my mother-in-law with us for six weeks. And I can tell you that doing the Fly Lady system saved my sanity because I always felt like my house was clean. I was always cleaning something, yes. But I was only doing little, I was doing 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, swishing and swiping my bathroom every day. She was switch, swishing and swiping her bathroom every day. That way when you get around to that zone, like right now we're in zone four, which is master bedroom, bathroom, and closets, I'm going to have to get in my bathroom this week and do a big deep cleaning. And by that, I mean a little bit more than a swish and swipe, wipe down the walls, baseboards. And then for the, once we get out of that zone, I won't do that again for a month. I'll just do my swish and swipe. 
I use an after shower spray. Um, I think it's from Method. I get it from Grove Collaborative. So when I get out of the shower, I spray my after shower spray, helps to keep my shower clean. Um, I spray it in my bathtub. Um, it just helps to keep my bathroom clean. So that's a daily swish and swipe. So let me, as long as I'm here with you, I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. Um, so I made my bed and I use, these are all laminated. So I just use my Sharpie, wipe it off with alcohol and it's good to go. Okay, so I made my bed. I went into the bathroom, I showered, got dressed, swished and swiped. I left my bedroom with a load of laundry. That's another fly lady term, LOL, lol, load of laundry. So do a load of laundry if you if you need to every day. For the two of us, I don't always have to do a load of laundry every day, but I pretty much have to do one every other day. So what applies to you? It all starts with a shiny sink. You'll find that out if you look into the fly lady, that's where it all starts. Your first, 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 first thing is to keep your sink shiny. Even if you have to take your dirty dishes out of your sink, put them in a box and stick them under the table so you can get back and wash them, shine your sink. Shine your kitchen sink. Keep your kitchen sink shiny. Go to bed with it shiny and clean and free of dishes. You're gonna wake up to a clean, happy, shiny sink. So my sink is always clean and shiny. So that's done, coffee's done. We're late morning now, we're almost noon. Fed the critters and the bird, Maxie and the birds. I am out of bird food, but bird seed for the outside birds. Okay, feed the family, including yourself. Check, think about your day, check your calendar. I've already done that. Um, I still need to make a to-do list for this week. I already have something planned for dinner. I haven't reviewed my checkbook. I'm doing that tomorrow morning. I have rebooted the laundry. I'm washing throw blankets today. Hit the hot spots. If you don't know what a hot spot it is, it's anywhere where stuff collects. Uh, a lot of people, it's their kitchen table. Uh, it could be a kitchen island, a kitchen counter, um, an entryway, a foyer, some, th something like that where you tend to collect Maybe the kids throw their shoes and their jackets somewhere or papers pile up. Those are hot spots. And you'll learn in the fly lady system. You set, I think, your timer for two minutes and hit a hot spot. You'll be amazed how much clutter you can clear off of a hot spot in two minutes. Um, so that's morning routine. Now think about yourself. Okay, take your vitamins and medications. I need to get a little better about vitamins, but I did take my medication. Sit down and relax. Did that this morning. Eat breakfast if I haven't. Morning meditation. Renew yourself with computer time. Check emails and favorite websites. Well, I did that a little bit this morning. I usually go on my iPad and watch a few of my favorite YouTubers. And then there's a before bed routine. Pick up and put away things, which is also called a poopa. Pick up, put away a poopa. In the living room, pick up items that need magazines, dishes, shoes, etc. Clean the kitchen, shine your sink, lay out clean dish towels for the next day, and run your dishwasher. And then you also think about tomorrow. Check your calendar. Make sure you're checking your calendar or your planner for appointments. Start a to-do list for the following day. Think, what can I do tonight? That will make tomorrow morning easier. Gather up items you don't want to forget. Put them by the doors so you will see them when you leave. So if you've got to go somewhere, that helps. It just saves the sanity, your sanity in the morning. A before bed routine. Make sure children have their things put away. Start breakfast. Set the table and plan what's for breakfast. Um, or make a mental note of it. If you plan to use the slow cooker for dinner tomorrow, get some of the ingredients together so you can easily throw them together in the morning and then lay out your clothes for tomorrow. Focus on yourself before bed, cool down time, get ready for bed, brush your teeth, wash your face, take your meds, comb your hair, bath time, bubble bath or shower, put on jammies, now you're ready for bed. So reflect on today's accomplishments. That's something that 
just if if nothing else if these are the only things you've got done in the day you know your sink is shiny when you go to bed you've laid out your clothes for tomorrow you're airing out anything that maybe you wore today that didn't get dirty but you want to let it air a little before you put it back in your closet and you brush your teeth and you go to bed and then laminate it again so I can take notes. Now this is the flight plan portion of my control journal. Um, I wanted to do this all with dry erase so that I can just do it. And at the time I hand wrote everything because I didn't have a printer. I was in between my old printer dying and getting my new printer. So I just set it up like I do planners and stuff. Okay, so the flight plan. So today is Monday. That's weekly home blessing. You take an hour and you do run through this task list, but it's not, you're not, I'm doing actually what I used to call like a once over. You're just feather dusting your surfaces. You're not using your spray necessarily. Um, you're doing everything just very quickly because it's going to take you an hour and then you're going to stop. You're going to set your timer and you're going to stop. If you didn't get everything done, pick up where you left off tomorrow. If you work and you can't do your weekly home blessing in one day, divide it up during the week. Um, get up and get dressed to shoes. I have my socks on. I don't have shoes. I'm, I cheated. I'm, I admit, I'm sorry. Um, laundry, got that done. It's going anyway. Um, toss out old magazines. I don't usually have to worry about that because I don't keep too many around. Um, I change the bed tomorrow and put in, in both, both rooms have clean sheets. So empty all the trash that's done. I vacuumed all the rooms. Mop the kitchen and bathrooms. I'm going to mop my kitchen. My kitchen floor doesn't need to be mopped right now because it's clean, but I'll mop it after dinner. I usually, I don't have a very big kitchen and it only takes me a couple of minutes. So I will mop my kitchen floor after I clean up, shine my sink and get my coffee set for the morning, start my dishwasher. Bathrooms, I'm going to do those tomorrow too. Because since I'm going to be cleaning my bathroom really good tomorrow, I'm going to do the guest bathroom too. Only makes sense to me. So those things, even though I'm not going to check them off now, they will be done tomorrow. Clean mirrors and doors. I did that and I dusted. So I'm done with my weekly home blessing except for mopping the kitchen and the bathrooms. That will be tomorrow. Tuesday is a free day in Fly Lady World. Um, water and fertilized plants and a 15 minute in zone in current zone. So that's what I will do. I'll do 15 minutes in my bedroom, 15 minutes in my bed, my closet, 15 minutes in my bathroom, and then 15 minutes in the other bathroom. So that'll be tomorrow. Wednesday is um, Partial desk zone cleaning. So again, you do your 15 minutes in your weekly zone. Partial desk. So you'll work on any zone cleaning uh, that you still need to do. Make sure your refrigerator's clean. Make sure you're working on menus and grocery lists. Um, in the fly lady world, Thursday is errand day. You do your errands any day you want. Main thing is be prepared. Have your checkbook, you know, or your register, whatever. Make sure you've cleared off your desk, your bills are put away or put where they need to go until it's payday and you can pay them. Um, balance your checkbook. So if you are doing your errands on Thursday, you know what your budget is and you're not going to be overextending yourself thinking you have more than you do. Um, so that's a good day to make sure your menus are planned for the following week if you need to pick anything up at the grocery store. Usually for me, Aaron Day is the grocery store, maybe the thrift store, if I'm going to drop off anything or sometimes browse around. When I made this, I wasn't making my own candles and I put buy candles because I used to buy candles every week. Well, now I make my own candles, so I don't have to do that. So that's permanently going to be marked off unless I feel like buying candles. But I make my own, so I know what's in them. I sell them and my business is going well, but that's neither here nor there. That just whoop, slid that in there because of those candles. 
Okay, and then Friday is paperwork and miscellaneous, so that's a good day. I usually pay my bills on Friday, especially if it's payday, shred or burn. We usually burn our paperwork because we have a wood stove. It's also clean your purse and clean your car day and clean the laundry room area. Weekend is Saturday is family fun day and Sunday is renew your spirit day. Friday is date night. So make a dinner date with your with your husband or your wife or your significant other. I broke this down into zones just to help myself. Zone one is front porch, entry and dining room, which for my house works perfect because you walk up my walkway into my front porch. There's a little like a white picket fence that goes to my front porch. And then you go into my entryway and then my dining room is right here. So it's literally the first thing you see in your line of sight when you walk in my house. So that works out perfect. In the summertime, when um, I've got flowers and my garden's going, I will include, that will be part of my entry because I've got some rose, roses along the walkway, I've got flowers, I've got ground cover. So that's going to be part of my zone one because that is the entrance to the home as well as my front porch, um, my entryway, and then my dining room. Zone two, which is, it always corresponds with the week of the month. So sometimes your zone one and your zone five can be maybe not a full five days, just depending on what day of the week the month starts on. So zone two is always the second week of the month. That's kitchen for me. It's kitchen and laundry room, but my laundry room and my back porch are the same thing. Now in the summer, again, for me, it will be kitchen, laundry room, and basically backyard because my dining room sliding glass door goes right into my backyard. So you see, I don't have a huge backyard. Um, it's kind of a narrow, long, narrow backyard, but I have a planter there. I put flowers in the summer. I have pots with flowers, my garden. Um, so I'm going to include that. That's going to be the time I'm going to make sure if you come into my house, because that's the, the whole thing is your house is going to be ready for anybody to stop by any day. If somebody stops into your house, come here, bud. Come here. Let me pick you up. Um, say hi to everybody. This is Maxie. Hi, Maxie. Um, yeah, he gets a little bit jealous if I'm not paying all my attention to him. So he's going to sit here and do this with me. Um, yeah, so anyway, zone two, I'll make sure that if you're in my kitchen or my uh, dining room, you're looking out my back door, my garden looks nice. My I don't have debris around, okay? Um, so zone three, guest room and one other room. So for me, that's guest room, guest bathroom, and my office craft room. Zone four, this is what we're going into now. The fourth week of the month is master bedroom, bath and closet, and then zone five, living room, family room, and desk. So those are the zones, and you set them up however you want, whatever works for you. This is just a detailed breakdown of things that you can do when you're in each zone. For example, start kind of from the top of the room, go down, start at the ceiling and work your way down in each zone. Okay, so you're gonna clean the cobwebs, you're gonna go around, I vacuum the corners or you can feather dust, whatever works. You're gonna dust your window sills, you're gonna clean your switch plates. If you've got handprints, little wee people that make sticky fingerprints. I know my grandson, when he comes over, my youngest grandson, there's always lip prints and kiss prints all over my sliding glass doors, my refrigerator, and my dishwasher. So these are the things you're going to clean. Put your plants in the shower or the sink. Give them a good rinse. Water them real good. Dust furniture, dust baseboards, straighten closets if applicable. Sweet vacuum or mop the floor. Put plants back. Add your own personal touches to make it more welcoming. For me, I use a lot of flowers. Um, so that's just a breakdown in each. They're pretty much the same. Same in the dining room, dust the cobwebs, clean the windowsills, clean the window. 
I have two hutches in my dining room. I need to make sure those are dusted and straightened. Dining room is cleaned. Chairs are cleaned. Dust the bottom of the chairs, D baseboards. I don't have baseboards in my dining room because we have barn wood. And so I just vacuum those off. Um, but that works, move the furniture. So once a month, I'll take the chairs out from underneath the dining room table and I'll mop real good. The rest of the time, I just mop the traffic areas. Front porch, kind of uh, self-explanatory, sweep down cobwebs, spider webs, clean off the furniture. Um, if you've got dead plants, throw them away, prune back your bushes, repot plants in the summer, fill your bird feeders, wipe your tables, that kind of thing. And again, add your own personal touches. Detailed <coughs> cleaning list of the kitchen. Empty your refrigerator, clean it out thoroughly. Make sure you're rotating your, your eggs and your sour cream and all your perishable items to the front. So as you grocery shop, you put your new stuff to the back. That just always, you're always rotating your uh, fresh food that way and nothing stays in there past its expiration date. Um, clean the microwave inside and out. Clean the stoven. Stoven. What's a stoven? It's a stove in an oven clean the stoven. Um, I have two stovens and uh, so I have a wall oven that is not the original because that would make it really old um, but it is a new wall oven we put in and then we also remodeled our kitchen about 10 years ago and so I have a freestanding stove and oven stoven as well so I've got two to keep clean and again you're wiping your you're straightening your drawers I did that last time I was in zone two I did that um, you're wiping down any windows fingerprints um, cleaning any vent hoods wipe down the fronts of your cabinets and if you can't get to each one of these like don't worry about it because what I'm gonna do like okay when I was in zone two this month um, let's see. Straighten, okay, straighten drawers and cupboards. I started, but I didn't finish. So I know I've got more to do because I've got, I did four of my drawers. Now I've got four more to do. So I, that's going to take me a while because I'm probably not going to get my whole kitchen done in one zone two cleaning week. Um, but again, I'll have to wash the windows, um, that type of thing. We'd already cleaned out under the sink because we did have found that we had a mouse getting in underneath the refrigerator. And so we did take everything out from under the sink and cleaned it really good. And so that's pretty well good for now. I forgot to erase that. Um, so that's just continued from zone two. That's the laundry room, same type of thing. Um, and then zone three, bath and guest room, same thing, wash area rugs, clean the floor, straighten up the drawers, clean the shower in the tub, wash the shower curtain, clean medicine cabinets. If you have them, clean the scale, throw away empty bottles, cans, things like that. Guest room, same thing you're going to do in the other rooms. You're going to polish your furniture. You're going to straighten your drawers, clean your cobwebs, you know, um, wash curtains, wash windows, uh, clean your bathtub, clean your closet. These are all things to just help you get them done eventually. I know this sounds overwhelming and I'm probably not doing you any favors or myself any favors by going this into detail. I mainly wanted to share with you the weekly home blessing because that's what I just got done doing. And then we're into zone three. Part of that is the craft room or office. Um, same type of thing. You're gonna clear off the desk. You're gonna throw away pens that don't work, sharpen your pencils, um, put items um, to keep in the pending file for Wednesday for desk day. Uh, you might straighten a drawer, toss out old receipts, clean your laptop, fill your printer, check and see if you need new ink, uh, vacuum, dust, clean your windows, cobwebs, uh, that kind of thing. 
And then zone four, which is what we're in starting today, the fourth week of the month, master bed and bath. So tomorrow I will start and maybe I'll even do a little video for you on what I've accomplished. I'll set my timer for 15 minutes and I'll work in the master bed, the master bath and my closet this week. And I didn't really write closets, did I? So this is where I'll concentrate this week. I've put in my half sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and write, even though I have it here, I like to write it. That's just me, you don't have to do that. It's just an idea. But what are some of the goals? What are some of the things I wanna do in my master bath? Well, one of the things I wanna do is wipe my walls down. You know, that doesn't get done all the time. That's one of the things, it's not on the list, but it's something I wanna do. Um, I wanna clean the baseboards really good. That's not on there, but I wanna do that. So those are things I'm gonna write down there. I have a garden tub over my tub um, that I'm, Neat. I want to clean really, really good. It tends to get dusty and dirty and you forget about it, but I'd like to get some new plants and put in there and um, start getting ready for springtime, you know, so that's going to go on there. Um, and then next week we'll go into zone five, which for me is living room, family room. Maybe you only have one big, you know, maybe you have an open concept. Excuse me. I've got to get a drink of my soda here hold on Whew, I was getting thirsty talking your ears off aren't I so back to the living room you're going to clean the cobwebs clean the windows straighten bookcases if you have them wash any ornaments knickknacks clean out end tables now that is something I need to do because I have not done that in a while um Straighten closets and drawers, wipe fingerprints, polish the furniture, get rid of the magazines, um, clean out the fireplace, shampoo the carpet if you need to, you know, once every however often you need to when you're in zone five. So that is it, you guys. I hope, I hope that's given you some ideas. I'm going to leave this open right here because I want to write down while I'm thinking about it some of the things I want to do in zone five. Let me grab, let me grab a pen. There we go, a pen from my planner here. So while I'm in zone five, zone four, excuse me, zone four, some of the things I want to do, what did I say? I want to scrub, scrub wall, bathroom walls. I don't know that I get my bedroom walls scrubbed, scrub bathroom walls and baseboards. Baseboards, wasn't sure that was gonna fit. Um, I wanna clean garden window. Garden window. And I wanna get under my clean under sink. I want, I've got lots of stuff underneath my bathroom sink that I can go through and get rid of. Clean under bathroom sink. The guest bathroom under the sink isn't bad. I don't keep much in there. Um, and then maybe declutter, declutter my closet. Declutter closet. So as I think of things, I will go through, jot them down, and I can mark them off when I'm done. All right, you guys, thanks for watching my video. If you've made it this far, God bless you. And thank you for listening to me. I hope this has made some sense to you. As I said again, I am not a teacher. I'm not teaching. I'm a fly baby. I'm very new to this. I'm just sharing with you how I've set up my control journal, maybe give you ideas on how you can set up yours. Um, and I'm just sharing with you what's worked for me. Again, go check out the fly lady, Marla Silly, and it's C-I-L-L-Y, I think. And then check out Diane in Denmark. I will link their channels in the description box below. 
Um, so you can check out their channels and really get a much better sense of how this program works. I'm just sharing what's working for me with you. So thanks for hanging with me, you guys. I'm going to get into my planner now and get my week planned out. I'll see you on the other side. Take care.